The jaws dropped faster than a driver losing a front wing. Rival teams immediately ran to their rule books, flipping frantically through pages, probably muttering things like, surely that's illegal. It looks like a movable aerodynamic device, because in F1, if it moves and it's not a wheel or a driver's head, it's usually a big no-no. That's just part of our suspension system, totally legal. They had, apparently, consulted the FIA well in advance, getting a nod of approval for the 2020 season. It complied with the letter of the law, even if it might have punched the spirit of the regulations right in the gut. The FIA, in their infinite wisdom, basically said, well, it's a steering system that affects the toe of the wheels, and that's not explicitly banned as a movable aerodynamic device. So, carry on. But just because something's technically legal doesn't mean the rest of the grid isn't furiously banging on the FIA's door demanding answers, or at least a highly detailed blueprint. The rival teams were livid. Not just because Mercedes had found another genius loophole, but because developing something like DAS from scratch mid-season would have cost millions, money they simply didn't have, especially with a new set of radical technical regulations looming for 2022, which was then brought forward to 2021 due to COVID-19 delays. Rule article 10.5.2 was specifically amended to prevent any adjustment of steering geometry while the car is in motion. DAS was simply too clever, too effective, and too expensive for everyone else to copy. 